What's up guys, Weather Wednesday, coming at you with another Watcher of Realms video. And today I did a bunch more farming as we have a mystery of artifacts going on. And as you can see, I am currently in second place. It's only day one. And uh, Mr. Halsey from Germany is absolutely crushing the field. I am in a healthy second place, kind of fighting, fighting it out with Duke for a second or third place, which is pretty good. But I did it again. I farmed 4,000 of these meteorites. Last time I was farming the Titan meteorite. This time I farmed the Wisdom meteorite. And so we are going to do some pulls and see how it turned out. Uh, as you can see, I haven't, uh, I haven't had the time to really sit down and try to get through stage 21 and 22 yet. So it did cost a lot of energy. And I don't know the rate difference between like 19 and 20 versus 21 and 22. It doesn't really show you if you have higher chances of getting like really good meteorites or whatever. So I don't know how much energy I'm wasting by doing it now as opposed to after getting through 21 and 22, but I farmed what I could. So last time we did Titan Forge. And a lot of people watched that video, which surprised me. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the Wisdom Forge. So same kind of deal. Uh, last time I did say I was looking for uh, hexes uh, exclusive. And is it here somewhere? Is it this one? The Sutra of Caprice. So a couple of people pointed out that it was not in the Titan Forge because I couldn't find which one it was in. It is in the Wisdom Forge, so maybe, maybe I will get Hexes exclusive. You never know. I mean, we got a 2% chance. Uh, and so that means we're gonna get about two because we've got a hundred uh, summons to do on these things. And there, there's a lot of competition though, it looks like. There's 27 options. So, well, like about a 6% chance or so of getting the uh, the Hex exclusive today. Not a very high chance, but just gonna have to do a lot of farming. Now, what I'd really like to know is, are all of these odds truly equal? Like, do you have the same odds of getting Graveyard Opus as you do of or yet, or I have penitent. Like, are all of these truly equal? I think so, but I would really like to see that proven in reality. But we've got four thousand and one <laughs> uh, forge items, so I'm gonna have a hundred summons, and hopefully, hopefully the odds are in our favor. Last time, the two percent was true. I got two. Out of 100 pulls, let's hope that I get at least two again. More would be nice. I'm doing a video, so it'd be nice if they gave me crazy CC luck. We'll see. If they only give me one, I'll take Hex. I'll take Hex. So let's get into it and uh, see if we got some luck here. Got Euphoric Orb. Now I have had trouble getting a lot of Euphoric Orbs. I only have one leveled up to 25 and then I think I have a level 10. So unfortunately the rest is just gold. We want to see lots and lots of red today. And we'd like to see some exclusives. Let's get into it. Same exact thing. Same exact thing. I've got one Euphoric Orb. That's kind of crazy. Uh, our odds are very low so far, not doing so well. Okay, we got Tira Twilight, nice. Again, I only have one of these at 25 and I think I have another one at 10, so it'll be nice to get some more Tira Twilight. Golden Scarab, I think this will get me up to uh, 25 on one and level 10 on another. Taya's Balm, I don't have so much trouble getting. 
Reaper's Emblem, I do have one that I'm trying to build up, so that's not so bad. So, so far we have hit six reds. So our odds uh, haven't quite reached that 28% uh, so far, and we have not hit any exclusives yet. So we're about due. Uh, we get Euphoric Orb again, Elysian Epitaph. Again, I, I have not been getting a lot of these two for some reason. Uh, Blood Bond Signet, I don't care so much about, but let, it's about time for that exclusive to show up. And we got another tier of Twilight, which is great. Uh, almost as good as an exclusive. Another Elysian Epitaph, and I actually have uh, a couple of fully max spirit siphons and a few more spirit siphons, so I could probably get a third up to 25, possibly. I'm not sure about that. So we're halfway through and we have not hit an exclusive, so the odds have definitely not been in our favor. This is why I farmed a lot, so that it would add up over time. We get an unfortunate skull. Okay, we get another Spirit Siphon and Taya's Bomb, so we are getting some good artifacts, but we just are not hitting those exclusives. Give us Hex. Give us Hex. That's what we want to see. Heaven's Rage, Taya's Bomb, and two more Euphoric Orbs. So at least my Euphoric Orbs are going to be in a much better position than they were before. But really, really, we are due for an exclusive... Nothing, nothing. We get another one of these and a title ring. What's this? Nah, nothing. Okay. Over 80. That's actually kind of crazy. Terrible, terrible, terrible luck. Over 90. Got golden scarabs and spirit siphons. So, even though we have not hit an exclusive yet, which is crazy, crazy bad luck. This really is the way to be getting better, better artifacts because I have never, like through regular summons, never through the Mythic Forge, have I been gotten like that crazy amount of like Spirit Siphons and Tear of Twilight and all that. Never had that kind of luck. Last chance, we got nothing, zero. I spent like 15, 20,000 energy or whatever, and we didn't get a single one. And that can happen because as far as I know, as far as I know, there is no pity. I think there needs to be a pity. Just did a hundred summons, 2% chance for exclusive, and I got absolutely nothing now obviously i'm a little upset but i needed those tier of twilights like i have not been getting those i don't even know if i have okay he's at 16 so i'm instantly instantly going to get this i think that gets it to 25 right uh enhance so yeah i mean i needed this as much as I wanted, obviously the exclusives, I would love to get a Hex exclusive. I don't know what all the best ones are or anything like that, but it's kind of crazy that I didn't get anything. But as far as getting other things that I desperately needed and could never find, like I've never, like I never pulled these Tier of Twilights and I pulled three. So that's actually, it's still much improved over uh, the lower levels, even though I totally got hosed. I absolutely got hosed. That takes a lot of mithril, man. Uh, what did that take? Like 6,000 mithril to get that from 16 to 25? But now I've got two Tier of Twilights fully maxed out. And that's amazing. That's actually incredibly helpful. I mean, I need a lot more. I I mean, I don't want title ring on Comet, or, uh, you know, if we look at, you know, obviously I, I am learning to shift these around a little bit more. Like, Boreas doesn't need a title ring. 
<laughs> you know, I don't need an unfortunate skull on Vierna. Like, I don't want to always have to move my Tear of Twilights around because that's super annoying uh, to do. Just, it's a pain. You know, as you're trying to do different things in the game. So, yeah, I, I obviously did not get what I wanted. But now, you know, I can upgrade some more spirit siphons, which I didn't have, like, the worst luck getting uh, compared to other things. As you can see, I already have three fully maxed spirit siphons. And... I mean, that did take me a long time to get, but I can finally, you know, I can upgrade another one. So it wasn't the worst. And then, oh, there's one more thing. I wanted to look at the healers uh, because, no, 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 no. Uh, okay, she has that. What am I looking for? Oh, this, 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 this. So now I can finally get my golden scarab. Uh, up to 25. I need a little bit more mithril. And then I can... Uh, I'll probably put the other one on, on her and get it to like level 13. So that's great, actually. So, even though I didn't get the exclusives, this still helped out my account a ton. So, if I hadn't gotten lucky on other things, I'd probably be super upset to be real with you. Uh, let's go ahead and sell. I don't care so much about the legendaries, to be honest. Uh, let's go ahead and get this to max level. And then we can take off the euphoric orb from her and we will add a golden scarab and we will enhance that as far as we can. And I will have to test this out on my guild boss team tomorrow, see if my score improves uh, with the Golden Scarab or not. Uh, we'll go ahead and promote it. And so yeah, I mean, my, my guild boss already does the 50k. I made a video of that a few weeks ago, but you know, it'd be nice if it was way above 50k not like just barely above 50k because i haven't even hit 52k yet i've hit 51.7 or whatever so there we go uh, i've made some improvements to my account but i didn't get any exclusive so the odds i would say were not in my favor but what can you do i just have a lot more farming to do unfortunately i am completely out of auto battles which is dumb. It's one of the dumbest things about the game is running out of auto battles. Because you have to do so much farming in the game. So much. And what do you gotta do? One at a time now. Because I already did like five or 600 auto battles this week. It's only Wednesday. So I won't get a bunch of freebies for like four more days, four or five more days or whatever. So other than getting a few randomly in the shop, this is what I have to resort to. And that's kind of lame in my opinion. Let me know what you think about uh, this new AMR. I, I will probably try to get through 21 and 22 soon. Maybe tonight, maybe in two weeks, I don't know. Depends on how much brain power I have. Sometimes I have the energy to focus on it. Sometimes I don't. So I get through things when I get through things. Let me know what you think about this new AMR. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will be back with more Watcher of Realms content. See ya.